Hello everyone, Shirley here. Today we're going to be going over the Mythic Rastakhan fight. Now, I could have done much better on this fight, first off, because I was still experimenting at this point with gear and setup and how I wanted to play it out. I didn't expect us to kill it so fast, but uh, here we go. We're going to jump right in and get started on these three ads. Now we are focusing the Siege Breaker Roka on this fight, that's to avoid this meteor leap here. As you see, the person that got targeted with it there jumped out to avoid it. It is nature damage, so you can cloak it off if you're a rogue. You cannot bop it, however, if you're a paladin. So, normally we would stack for that unless one of the people that got it could immunity it off. And we're going to be focusing him down here with Execute's priority and sweeping the other two, and that's to avoid the second Siege Breaker leap because it'll kill somebody usually, and it's not to... Uh, we want to get past that check anyway. And the other two, the priests here, they don't really matter. We're just going to go ahead and cleave them both down, and they'll drop it about the same time. You do have to watch out for that seal of purification on Mythic, because it does do a lot more damage. And then moving in real fast here to phase two, um, we're going to have our little intermission here. Normally I would charge Rastakhan there and get a Mortal Strike on him, but we decided to uh, move out and avoid that Flame Tongue Totem instead. Now what I was getting at at the beginning about my gear setup here is I was using... I didn't actually mean to flash my um, character page there during the fight because I was still undecided on what I wanted to roll and trinket setup wise and I don't think I would use grongs on this fight again going forward there's just not a good time to really use it even if uh, there is a lot of single target in the downtime during phase two here now I'm gonna spread out there for the plague of fire unfortunately our demon hunter does dash back in and spread it to all of us now he's gonna cast plague of toads so once again I'm just standing here waiting around so this is fine, however, because during Phase 2, we are going to be throttling our DPS because our strategy involves placing four of these Death's Doors at a very particular location by the entrance. So it doesn't really matter how much damage I'm doing because we've got more than enough at this point to uh, get by. So a lot of these times I'm going to be running out just to avoid that Plague of Fire and really spread out because we're going to be well past the DPS check regardless. So, a lot of AFK downtime um, for me at the moment. To do really well in this fight, somebody else is going to, you know, have to bite the bullet and just kind of stand around, really. Um, spreading out once again for that Plague of Fire. Now, if everybody during your melee group was at max melee range here, spread out evenly around Rastakhan, it would be a lot easier to uh, avoid that Plague of Fire and you wouldn't have, you know, quite as much uptime lost on the boss doing that but like i said it's not that tight of a check in fact you're going to be waiting anyway so it's not that big of a deal um i did go ahead and blow my blade storm here right when the zombie dust totem dropped and if you noticed i was moving away from rostkan because once again he's using the plague of fire and our rogue got mc and i was trying not to cleave him down too much because if you do kill one of your party members here it's you know it's not good it's definitely gonna need him later on in the fight but we have a couple of shamans fortunately in the fight here to drop tremor totems to avoid that mc now right here where i'm just jumping in the corner and everybody else is still hitting the boss we're supposed to stop here because we were waiting for that fourth death door cast to go off before king rostkan hits 60 percent otherwise he will not cast it and we need four at the door so the death realm group can avoid the orbs that come spawning everywhere and if you stand in between all four of the doors you can kind of see them on the left there that basically provides an immunity wall for our raid team to avoid that mechanic entirely and at this point on the top side we are going to cc all three of these ads and it's just a burn phase for me at this point um, we're just going to go ahead and use all of our cooldowns and play it like a single target fight. I do get to Death's Door in this phase, and I'm just going to leap that out and throw it in the corner away from everybody. It doesn't matter at this point where it's at, so don't worry about positioning it too much. Um, we did, you know, have a pretty rough spread on the fire there, but not that big of a deal as there's only half of our raid team up here at this point. So it's not going to be that punishing if it does spread around. Um, I am running Test of Might on a couple of my pieces during this fight, I believe. I actually got a couple of pieces of new gear this week, so 
wasn't exactly sure what uh, I was going to be wanting to run for future reference on this fight. Now, about a minute into this phase, when we CC all these ads, they will break out of the CC naturally, but they will also become immune to further CC, and that is when you're going to want to, you know, really cleave these things down. I'm going to charge this back one and try to get an interrupt off on this grave bolt, try to move it in. It does keep casting, unfortunately, but we did get them all grouped up here. Now, just like on Heroic, we have to be soaking these circles. I noticed my Shaman was standing in that one, so I'm going to move out and avoid that unnecessary damage. And at this point, our, um, the Dead Realm people, the people that went under to, be, to deal with Buon Sandi, uh, should be back up by this point, and we're going to be go ahead and focusing down all these adds over Rastakhan. It's much more important to get these all killed off um, rather than Rastakhan at this point because they will be hard casting on people and they do a ton of damage and especially this rage here he should go down because he hurts a lot when he keeps doing the giant aoe smash thing um rostcon himself is casting inevitable end at this point so i'm you know running away from him anyway that's why we're not standing in the back to cleave He's going to go ahead and basically rinse and repeat all of his mechanics from the earlier phases, except now we have the death stores all over the place that are spawning these orbs on the top side. It's just something else to avoid. They're pretty slow and pretty obvious. It's not too bad. Ironically, on the mythic version of this fight, the plague of toads that leave the little acid puddles on the ground, I actually find a lot easier to deal with on mythic than I do on heroic because there's more of them, so they're much more obvious when they spawn. Another thing, I just clipped the edge of that acid pool there on Mythic. It's not that big of a deal. It's more important to avoid the frogs themselves when they jump out. That applies a very nasty dot to you on Mythic that you want to be avoiding. However, the acid pools don't apply the dot. They just do ticking damage when you're inside of them. So if you need to run through them or charge through them or whatever to get out of the way or back onto the boss, it's fine. It doesn't do a whole lot. Um, we do have to run out every time for inevitable end. Uh, during some of the earlier heroic pulls when the raid first came out, you could cl cut that pretty close. But I found if you were standing right next to his circle, it's like a delayed trigger. And it would still kill you if you tried to leap out. So... I've stopped doing that and just leaping out well ahead of time, especially on Mythic here, to, uh, you know, avoid that mechanic entirely. And we're going to go ahead and spread out one last time for the Plague of Fire here. Not that big of a deal. Um, we do spread it out around a little bit here, but mostly it's just avoiding orbs and really uh, calling out those spreads for your raid team. Because you, the main thing that's going to wipe you on this fight is probably that Plague of Fire, especially if you have a ton of melee. He is casting one last inevitable end here, and I wanted to get uh, an execute in on him to keep that deep wounds rolling before we leap out. But at this point, we're just kind of strafing and trying to dodge all these orbs as much as I can here. And we're going to go back in. One last Plague of Fire. I take it back the last time, I guess. And down goes uh, Rostcon here. We're going to charge back in through all that junk because none of it really insta-gives you. And down he goes. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, look at Mythic Rostacon, and I will see you next time. However, before I go, I'll probably be doing a gear update video. I haven't done one of those in quite some time, and I've gotten quite a bit of stuff recently to uh, look at on the various fights in here. Anyway, I'll see ya. Peace.